I'm Joe Feeks, editor of Poultry Health Today, and with me is Dr. Anna De Silva. She is a graduate student and a PhD candidate at the University of California in Davis. Great to see you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for inviting me. So I've interviewed your colleague, Rodrigo Gallardo, uh, about the uh, infectious bronchitis work that you've been doing, trying to, as I understand it, really trying to identify um, molecules that, that would be resistant to infectious yeah. bronchitis? Our main goal is to understand how the immunity to IBV works and try to use that approach in the innate immune responses to try to have a broad response so that it would be common to different IBV genotypes. So, so this that, that's our main goal. Okay. Now, uh, some recent work uh, involved what might be called performance minerals, zinc and manganese. Mm -hmm. um, how do they figure into immunity development? So zinc and manganese are trace minerals that have major influence in the immune responses. They interfere with phagocytosis, cytokine production, inflammation, maturation and differentiation of immune cells such as macrophages, natural killer cells, TMB cells. So the idea of using these additives in the feed is to modulate the immune responses so that the birds under challenge perform better so that the cha the viral challenge doesn't affect them as much as if they were not having these supplements. And so you're only feeding the, the minerals, there was no vaccination involved. You just wanted no. to see what the birds could do on their own. So these uh, congenic chicken lines, they have the same genetic background with differences only in their MHC haplotypes. And the MHC haplotypes having, have been linked to relative resistance or susceptibility to infectious diseases in general. So the idea was to use two chicken lines that have distinct immune and pathological and clinical responses and try to use these minerals, the supplements, to see how that would affect their uh, development after an IBV challenge. So what did you learn from your study? So from this study, study in particular, we observed that the birds that were fed with zinc only performed better than the birds fed with the control feed or with zinc and manganese together. So it's interesting because the supplements that we used in this experiment, they were bound to amino acid complexes. So it is thought that because they are more absorbed in the gut of the bird, they're gonna be more effective than uh, trace minerals from inorganic sources. So there was no impact from the manganese or any of the other minerals, it was only zinc? Uh, so the feed types that we had, we didn't have any feed type that had manganese alone. We only had it with zinc and it was in a different concentration than the zinc only mineral. Both of the supplements improved the responses compared to the control feed. But in this particular uh, scenario, in this particular experiment, the zinc alone feed worked better. Were you surprised by the results? We were a little bit surprised because um, even though we know that zinc and manganese have a beneficial effect in the immune response in general, we had a small setting of an experiment and these birds were only fed for up to four weeks of age. So the fact that we saw di statistical differences in body weight, for example, was a little bit surprising to me because it did have a beneficial effect in a short period of time. So now that we have this information, what can we do with it? Ideally, we would have to use these supplements in an experimental setting, but using commercial birds because their genetic background is very different from the genetic background from the birds that I used in my experiment. So we have heterozygotes in the MHC in the field and the responses might not be exactly the same as the responses we saw in a lab setting. So ideally we would have to retest it to make sure that the traits that we analyzed in our control birds, in our controlled environment, would reflect the reality in the field. Hopefully we would see beneficial results as well. Well I know the poultry industry will welcome anything you can do to try to improve immunity to infectious bronchitis. Uh, are there any takeaway messages for poultry companies at this point in time? Yeah, keep keep funding our research. Uh, it's very important to keep doing good good research without biases and make sure that we are analyzing our data properly. I think that's very important to make a contribution for both the industry and the academic area. 
Very well said, and no question about it. We've been talking to Ana De Silva. She is a veterinarian and a PhD candidate at the University of California, Davis. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you for having me.